हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर हरीन राम सेरी फ्रॉम किरोडीमल कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल मॉर्फोलॉजी लाइफ साइकिल मोड ऑफ एंट्री ऑफ सिस्टोसोमा अंडर पेपर बायोलॉजी ऑफ पैरासाइटिज्म आफ्टर स्टडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू सेल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड जर्नल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ सिस्टोसोमा रिकोगनाइज द डाइजेनेटिक नेचर ऑफ पैरासाइट habit habitat and other characteristic uh, species affecting human population identify the morphology of different parasitic forms life cycle of cystosoma and other species infecting human hosts introduction the parasites belong to class trematoda of phylum platyhelminthes the hierarchy is and underneath phylum platyhelminthes class trematoda ऑर्डर प्रोस्टोमेटा फैमिली सिस्टोसोमाइडी जीनस सिस्टोसोमा सिस्टोसोम स्टैंड फॉर स्प्लिट बॉडी डेट डिफाइन्स द एपेरेंस ऑफ द कपल सिस्टोसोम आर डाइसियस डेट इज सेपरेट सेक्सेस ब्लड ट्रिमेटोड्स फ्लूब्स डेट बिलोंग्स टू सिस्टोसोमाइडी फैमिली एंड फाइलम्स प्लेथी हेलमेंथिस the species possess non operculated egg and lack muscular pharynx the species of the family mainly inhabit cavall venous and mesenteric portal blood vessels and within their life cycle lack insisted uh, metasarcarial stage they developed into a fork tailed sarcaria possesses organs of penetration in their preoral suckers for lytical and mechanical functioning the species of the family are digenetic parasites that pass their life cycle into two uh, two distinct hosts one intermediate and one definite host skin is the portal of the entry into the their definite uh, definite host and this uh, vesical plexus or vents in the site of localization ranges of hosts are parasitized by this group of the parasites including mammals birds turtles and fishes some species of potential parasites offer men while other are agents of diseases in humans cystosoma hemato uh, hematobium cystosoma japonium cystosoma mekongi cystosoma intercalatum cystosoma mansoni are the important agents of diseases in man other less epidemiologically important species are cystosoma bovis cystosoma malayani cystosoma crusoni and cystosoma methai the species causes cystosomiasis in men in the endemic infection areas it is a significant causes of disease affecting nearly 77 countries globally cystosoma species can infect cattle sheep horses and humans not all cystosoma infections causes disease in humans cystosomidae species cystosoma mansoni it is a species of cystosomidae family which enter their definite host that is main hamsters and mice through skin and gets localized into the mesenteric venous the developmental stage of cystosoma mansoni called merasidium is an infectious larval form infecting an intermediate snail host found in the fresh water bodies in sallows sallow coastal regions in the head food of the snail the merasidium larval transformed into sporocyst and then migrate to the gonads or digenerative glands the sporocyst containing cercaria releases the parasitic form cercari which moves through the snail tissues and ultimately reach into the fresh water to further invade the definitive ho human host 
Biomphleria species is the molluscan host of these parasites. Cystosoma mansoni have synonyms like Afrobilhargia mansoni, Cystomum americanum and Distoma hematobium. The parasite causes mansonous intestinal cystosomiasis or cystosomiasis mansoni commonly called as bilhargiasis. In the earliest time, the existence of cystosomiasis was reported by the studies of mummies of ancient Egypt. In the 20th century, African cystosomiasis was one of the earliest reported diseases noted by Theodore Bilharge. Characteristic features, habit and habitat. Cystosoma mansoni is a digenetic protozoan parasite. The life cycle completes into two hosts. The primary host is human and the secondary host vector is snail. Food habits. The host completely fills the dietary requirements of the parasite Cystosoma mansoni. The blood feeding parasite as the name suggests gains nourishment from the host blood components, mainly monosaccharides and proteins of the blood. Precisely, the parasite devours a lot of glucose to generate energy for its reproduction and other activities. It has been reported that the malnutrition status of host can be negatively impact the parasite development. Habitat the parasite Cystosoma mansoni is commonly found in freshwater ecosystem. According to the time of the year and reason, the distribution and localization, uh, uh, location of parasite may be vary. The reason that they are predominantly found in freshwater environment is that the environment remains comparatively stable in such type of ecosystem. Attributing their parasitic nature, they can infect other species present in the water body. Most commonly, they inf infect intermediate snail hosts of the family Planorbidia, uh, genus Bi Biomphalaria, other organism by ingesting the infected snails and infect themselves, such as rats, monkeys, and other rodents. On the flip side, uh, the de uh, definite human host not become infected by consuming the infected snails but through contact with the contaminated water. Species used as host, humans, rodents, primates, snails, biome flaria, home range. The adult form of parasite survives within the host body. The other forms of worms such as Cercaria and Miracidia are the free swimming but limiting to the range of areas with potential hosts. Behavior Cystosoma mansoni has both a definitive as well as intermediate host. In most cases, the definitive host is a man and the intermediate host is a, a snail from the genus Bipflaria. The parasitic form commonly infect human host by invading the skin and flow into the circulation. The larval form of parasite called Miracidium can swim and its motile nature provides them the ability to search for their intermediate host that is freshwater snail. Another form of parasite called Cercaria is motile and swim from the intermediate host to definitive human host. Adult forms of parasite remain with the host forming a mating pair male and female together where male has residing female within its group called gynecophoric canna. Morphological forms Cystosoma have two separate sexes male and female and thus called as dioecious. The adult form is long whitish and slim where females are longer than males whereas males are shorter than females. Living a lifespan of 20 to 30 years, these are long-lived forms. 
the adult worm of three species Cystosoma mansoni, Cystosoma hematobium, Cystosoma Japo uh, japonicum closely resemble each other. Males are flat and the lateral margins of the body are folded ventrally to form a female. A secantium of cells is contained in the tubement like surface of the worm. Mainly prominent tuberculations are present in the tubements of male wares. Female worm surface is a tubement that is devoid of tubementations. The worms maintain their attachment in the mesenteric blood vessels with the help of pediculated sucker that follows a second type of funnel shaped sucker called oral sucker at the anterior end of the body. The buttons around the suckers are well as in the inner parts of the ventral and oral suckers small thorn are present. Males Males of Cystosoma mansoni species possesses 8 to 9 testes arranged in a zigzag row situated dorsally within the afferent ducts connected to form a single vasa differences reaching to seminal vesicle near starting of gynecophoric canal. The cuticle is grossly tuberculated. Adult male can be reached the size of 1 cm long and 1 mm wide. Just posterior to the ventral sucker, the uh, sucker lie the genital pore that have a non-muscular serous tube opening of seminal vesicles, the vesicle formed by the swelling of vasa differences. The male have deployed number of chromosome 16. Behind the ventral sucker, the body of the adult ma male worm is flatted, characteristically uh, forming the gynecophoric canal and within this group, the female worm is held. We can see in the figure number first, the casial region and large intestine is surrounded by the small inferior mesenteric blood vessels which are prominent site of male parasitic worm localization. A short esophagus is followed by the intestine that bifurcates into two branches at the ventral circle level. These two branches reunite to form a close casium at the posterior end. The gut of the adult parasite ends close to the posterior tip of the body. Numerous small tubercules cover the body wall of the worm. The membranocalyx is a bilayer external part of tubements, sorry, tubement, which is renewed and said continuously. The bottom of the oral sucker is the anterior extremity of the body form from where the digestive tube begins and shows a bifurcated esophagus that reunites to form a single blind casium, the intestine and blind, blindly. This figure so cystosoma male which contain oral sucker, pharynx, acetabulum, testes, gynecophoric canal, tubercules, esophagus, intestinal casium. Females Females have cylindrical body held within the gynecophoric canal, held within the gynecophoric canal of male. The size of the female worm's parasite can reach up to 1.4 cm in length and 0.25 mm in width, which can digest 10 times more RVCs in comparison to male parasite. The reproductive system of female parasites comprised of slightly lobulated elongated ovary which is connected to short oviduct located at the anterior half of the body. We can see in the figure number 2. The oviduct open in uterus connected uti. The uterus is short and contains only one egg at a time. The genital pore opens ventrally whereas the oviducts posterior part act as a receptacle column seminus 
the shape of the O type determines the shape of the X. Vitellogenic glands are present in the two third posterior part of the worm body attached with the single median vitelline duct which unites with the OV duct before reaching the O type complex. A laurel canals is absent. This figure represents cystosoma female mating and egg production. The male worms form a characteristic group called gynecophoric canal within which resides the adult female parasite thus appearing as a characteristic couple. Although it is unusual to have a separate sexes for trematodes, but this can be explained by the fact that female worms leaves a permanent relationship with a male parasite. After mating, the coupled Worm migrates against the flow of blood and finally reaches the small venicules of intestine mesenteric circulation. The egg of Cystosoma mansoni are light brownish brown, 175 mm in length and 68 mm in width, elongated without operculum and characterized by possessing large backward pointing lateral spine revealed under same and electron microscopy. Casial region and large intestine region of the worm is surrounded by the small inferior mesenteric vessels which act as a final niche of the paired worms. The mature female of Cystosoma mansoni lays approx 300 eggs per day deposited on the venous capillary endothelial linings. From the endothelial lining, the eggs, uh, egg of Cystosoma mansoni moves into the lumen of intestine and excreted out into the environment with the host feces. As soon as the egg of Cystosoma mansoni is emitted into the water through fecal root the egg hatches out to produce mature meracidium. Dilution of feces with the water, light and temperature are the factors influencing the hatching of eggs. This figure represents cystosoma in left. In right, high-powered detailed micrograph of cystosoma parasite eggs in human bladder tissue. Meracidium the mature meracidium moves through the water as the outer surface is covered with the numerous cilia. The size reaches 150 to 180 micrometer in length and 70 to 80 micrometer in width. The outer covering has four layers of epidermal plates and at the apex of meracidium, ciliated sensory organ lays, apical papilla and number of glands cells are present. Uh, tree bretorium at its apex consists of number of membranous folds and helps. It is an instant attachment to its intermediate snail host prior to penetration. Miracidium has a variety of sensory organs connected to a nervous system. It has a pair of posterior flame cells and pair of anterior flame cells consisting the excretory system. These are sexually different, uh, differentiated form of parasite. The energy required by the meracidium takes 4 to 6 hours to reach appropriate freshwater snail host. Biome flaria, stramenia, biome flaria, tenangophilia, uh, biome flaria, glebreta. Uh, the snails are the intermediate host for the meracidium. This figure represents different developmental stages of Cystosoma mansoni. First figure, so adult. Second B figure, so egg. C meracidium. D cercaria. This figure represents life cycle stages of a Tygenian human parasite. Cystosoma japonicum, egg, meracidium, sporocyst, cercarium, and adult male and female. Cercaria, an 
infective larval form of cystosoma characteristically has a bifurcated ended long tail, the furcal remi. The outer surface of the tubements, tubements is covered with glycocalyx furnace with the sensory papillae and spines. It is also covered with three layer of plasma membrane, trilaminate, glycocalyx which cover the outer surface of cercaria is a sugar rich layer. The tubement of Cystosoma mansoni characteristically has prominent backwardly positioned spines. A number of ciliated sensory papillae are found on cercaria. The longitudinal muscles situated below the external layer of circular muscles that intersurvey with di diagonal fibers and thus form the body wall musculature of cercaria. Nearly 2 by 3 of the area of cercarial head is possessed by the 5 pairs of acetabular glands which are the prominent feature of larval anatomy and comprised of 2 pairs of pre-acetabular and 3 pairs of post-acetabular uh, post glands. The glands are uh, cellular and protruded through the cone at the anterior end. These unicellular glands has role in the host addition and penetration as suggested by the mucus-like secretion from the post-acetabular and proteinase secretion from the pre-acetabular glands. Moreover, at the anterior end, they also possess a unicellular gland called head glands which provide membrane material needed during the development of cercaria to cystosimula form following host penetration. Cercaria characteristically possesses an arthiodorsal pair, a ventral and posterior dorsal pair, a midventral pair and a pair of flame cells in the anterior tail, thus total 5 pairs of flame cells, a tightly packed ciliary rotels occupy a region at the base of the flame cells. The first tubal cells, cell and the flame cells are interdigitated to form a basket or barrel like structure forming a ciliary tuffet of the flame cells. Mode of infection The Miracidium stays into snail host. Once the Miracidium gets attached to its intermediate snail host, it undergoes movements over the snail's food surface to reach its preferred site of penetration. Exploratory movements are followed by the boring movements of the Miracidium and trigger the secretion of proteolytic enzymes from the gland cells to perform penetration. The muscle layer disappear and the ciliated epidermal plates are said as the Miracidium penetrates into the intermediate host and transform into primary sporocysts. Thus, Miracidium develop into sporocyst inside the body of snail host the mother and daughter sporocyst are the two generations of sporocyst. It's the daughter sporocyst which produces the cercaria, an effective larval form which is re released into the water after 30 days from the snail host. There are no radial stages. When a man came in contact with infected water, carrying the infectious form of parasite cercaria of Cystosoma mansoni during bathing, wedding and washing, the hosts may be acquired the infection. The larval form of parasite first get attached to the skin surface of the uh, sorry, of host with the help of their ventral suckers and as the time passes and water evaporates, the larva penetrates the skin and invades the periphery circulatory system. Infection rarely occurs 
on consuming infected water. In such cases, the larva invade the buccal mucosa to reach the blood circulation. Penetration of the cercaria into man. The penetration of infectious larval form into their definitive hosts occur in the three phases initial attachment, exploratory movements and ultimately penetration. Initially the larva gets attached to the skin of the human host in contact within water, followed by the exploratory movements of the cercaria that creep over the skin surface of the host for a suitable site of penetration such as hair follicle further followed by the final penetration of cercaria into the skin epidermal layer using the protolytic enzymes produced by the preacetabular as well as postacetabular gland secretion. The cercaria takes nearly 30 minutes to reach the base of epidermis after penetration followed by the penetration it undergoes cercaria cysto somula transition. After transformation into cystosomulum, the larva lost its tail and sheds the tubements trilaminate plasma membrane along with the sugar layer glycocalyx and substituted by the mature form of the tubement. The primitive gut also grows and the cystosomula invade the dermis. The parasitic form penetrates through the epidermal basement membrane to cross over in the dermis. Once the cystosomule invades the dermis, it takes about 10 hours to reach blood vessels where they get localized on penetration. Once they enter the mesenteric circulation through blood flow, the parasitic form via pulmonary artery reaches lungs. The lung stage cystosomulum. After the 8 day of penetration in lungs, the cystosomulum become much slender and longer attributing to a substantial increases in surface area without change in the body mass. It is suggested that during this lung stage, the parasite starts feeding on plasma instead of blood cells of the definitive host. The parasite further migrates to the hepatic portal vein through blood vessels and finally penetrates into the liver. The hepatic stage cystosomulum. The cystosomulum undergoes lateral growth as it enters into the liver accompanying complete maturation of the gonads and development of the gut. The adult female and male parasitic worm pair up once they become mature and migrate against the blood flow through hepatic portal veins to ultimately reach their niche, mesenteric vessels surrounding the intestine. The mature form of parasite pair up and perform mating as they get localized in the mesenteric veins. The mature female parasite start laying egg and it take nearly 25 to 30 days to commence egg laying from the time of infection with cercaria. This figure represents flow chart depicting the events and different stages of development and infection. Life cycle. Contaminated water is the source of infection in the definitive host, uh, human host. Snails are the intermediate host of parasite which produces water water swimming larva called cercaria that reaches their mammalian host in water. This free swimming larva form penetrated the skin of human host and lose their characteristic tail after invading the body. At this point, the cercarial body changes to the cystosomulum a migrating juveline worm. These migrating worms enter the blood circulation system of human body from where cystosomobulum reaches lungs. The cystosomula 
of Sister Soma Mansoni further migrate to the portal blood in the liver and mature into the adult forms. The me uh, mesenteric venules surrounding the gut are the final destination of these adult worms, male and female pair, which mature before homing there. Following skin penetration, the parasite takes about six weeks to reach mesenteric venules of bowel and rectum. These male and female pair feed on blood and can reside for many years inside the mesenteric veins and in the meantime lay 300 eggs per day that circulated to the liver and seed into the stools. The egg of Cystosoma mansoni and Cystosoma Japan, uh, japonicum are seeds in feces in part in urine where Cystosoma hematobium the in urine and partly in feces. Nearly 50% of the total egg population circulates with the flow of blood and get imprisoned in the hepatic region and as a result of strong host immune response, granulomas are formed around eggs. After seven days of egg laying by the mature adult female worm, the remaining eggs invade vessels, walls and cross over the intestinal wall to exit the host. The eggs may be take up six weeks in the order to be secreted with the feces. Nevertheless, following OB position, the eggs die within the 14 days, suggesting that not all eggs secreted with the stools are viable. Only when viable eggs hatches and released infectious meracidium larval form in water, then only it can infect uh, the aquatic intermediate snail host, Biomflaria pefiferi or Biomflaria globerata. Within the intermediate host, parasite replicates and produces sporocyst. The snails initiate to say said Sarcaria after the five weeks of infection and some of them will be infect the definitive human hosts. This figure represent life cycle, image, uh, life cycle of cystosomiasis, other species of cystosoma, cystosoma hematobium. Cystosoma hematobium is commonly called as vesicle blood fluke producing urinary or vesicle bilharziasis, cystosomiasis hematobin, cystosomal hematoluria. Bilharz 1852 provide the important synonym, synonyms to the species Bilharzia hematobia, Distoma hematobium. The vesicle cystosomiasis is geographically distributed in several extensive endemic areas including various parts of Middle East and Africa. A few cases were also reported in India such as Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. Primarily, the adult worms live in the pelvic plexus of venous uterine, prostatic and visceral plexuses of veins. The adult worms are also localized in the portal blood stream of host. The males are shorter and shorter, measuring 1.5 cm by 1 mm. Male worms is covered with fine, finely tuberculated cuticula and have 4 to 5 testes arranged in groups. The females are cylinder and long, measuring 2 cm in length and 0.25 mm in breadth. The ovary of females lies behind the middle of the body. At one time nearly 20 to 30 eggs developed in the uterus of female adult worm. 
the couple saw a long reunite form of male and female worm where they reunite about the middle of the body the eggs of cystosoma hematobium are 150 micrometer in length and 50 micrometer in breadth and also have characteristic terminal spine there are total 5 pairs of cephalic glands in the cercaria form of parasite including 3 pair of basophilic and 2 pair of oxyphilic freshwater snails belong to the genus balenius tunicates and other species such as ferisia tunis india and flenobarius degeniensis portugal act as intermediate host for cystosoma hematobium man is the definitive host for the parasite which are found in the prostatic and visceral plexus of venus the life cycle of cystosoma hematobium is same as that of cystosoma mansoni cystosoma japonicum cystosoma japonicum also called as oriental blood fluke causes oriental or japonica cystosomiasis in 1958 lee rocks provide a synonym cynobilharzia japonica the eggs of cystosoma japonicum were first reported by kesai 1903 in feces fuji nami 1904 first detected the adult female in the portal when it was 1904 only when the adult worm were first described by the katsuridia from infected cats and dogs and assigned a new species name that is japonicum the infection by the cystosoma japonicum is confined to areas of the e- fast east behind from being from, uh, found in japan china philippines southern formosa san states of burma and celebes the adult parasitic form of cystosoma japonicum are morphologically similar to species of cystosoma mansoni with size of 1.2 to 2 cm in length and 0.5 mm in breadth it has a non tuberculated cuticula and 6 to 7 testes arranged in a single file the ovary lies in the middle post equatorial plane of the female body and uterus nearly contains 50 eggs the couple male and female has a short reunite contact reuniting in the posterior fourth of the body The eggs of Cystosoma japonicum are 100 micrometer by 65 micrometer in size and there are 5 pair of cephalic glands. The parasite invades intermediate snail host belonging to Oncomelania genus. The definite host of Cystosoma japonicum are men and domestic animals such as dog, cat, cattle and pig. Field mice are the reservoir of infection. The parasites are localized in the mesenteric plexus of superior mesenteric venous and its radicals. The life cycle of Cystosoma japonicum same as that of Cystosoma mansoni. Cystosoma mekongi first reported in 1978. The Cystosoma mekongi naturally infects humans and dogs as the definitive hosts the infection is endemic to kolong island the eggs of cystosoma mekongi closely resemble the eggs of cystosoma mansoni varying in size of 30 to 35 by 50 to 65 micrometer being less elongated and smaller in size Acutic snail host for the parasite is Trila epirata. Adult worm live in mesenteric venous. Cystosoma intercalatum. Fisher first described the Cystosoma intercalatum occurring in central and western Africa. Man is the definitive host for the 
parasite, the eggs have characteristic terminal spine up to 20 micrometer with a slight band measuring 175 micrometer in length and 60 micrometer in breadth. The adult worm lies in the intestinal plexus of venous but not in the vesicle plexus of venous. The parasite lives in the intermediate snail hosts, Bellinus globusus and Bellinus africanus. This figure represents different species of cystosoma. Cystosoma hematobium, Cystosoma intercalatum, Cystosoma mekongi, Cystosoma japonium. So students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Cystosomes are deciduous, that is separate sexes, blood trematodes, flukes that belongs to the Cystosomidae family and Plethelminthes phylum. The species of the family mainly inhibited caval, venous and mesentric portal blood vessels. The species of the family are digenetic parasites that passes their life cycle into two distinct hosts, one intermediate and one definite host. Skin is the portal of entry into the their definite host and vesicle plexus or vents in the site of localization. Ranges of host are parasitized by this group of the parasites including mammals, birds, turtles and fishes. Cystosoma hemitibium, Cystosoma japonium, Cystosoma mekongi, Cystosoma intercalatum, Cystosoma mansuni are the important agents of disease in man. The blood feeding parasite Cystosoma mansuni as the name suggested gains nourishment from the host blood components and commonly found in freshwater ecosystem. Cystosoma mansoni has both a definitive as well as intermediate host. In most cases, the definitive host is a main and the intermediate host is a from the genus Bioflaria. Once the Miracidium gets attached to its intermediate snail host, it undergo exploratory movements followed by the boring movements of the Miracidium that trigger the secretion of proteolytic enzymes from the gland cells to perform penetration. The mus uh, muscle layers disappear and the ciliated epidermal plates are the sets as the Miracidium penetrates into the intermediate host and transform into the primary sporocyst. Thus, Miracidium develops into sporocyst which produces the sarcaria and infective larval form which is released into water after 30 days from the snail's host. There is no, uh, there are no radial stages. When men came in contact with the infected water carrying the infectious form of parasite sarcaria of Cystosoma mansoni during the bathing wedding and washing, the host hosts may be acquired the infection. The larval form of parasite gets attached to the skin, surface of host to penetrate the skin and further invades the periphery circulatory system. The penetration of infectious larval forms into their definitive hosts occur in three phases, initial attachment, exploratory movements, and ultimately penetration. The sarcaria takes nearly 30 minutes to reach the base of epidermis after penetration. Followed by the penetration, it undergoes sarcaria cystosomula transition. After transformation into cystosomulum, the larva lost its tail and seeds. The tubements trilaminate uh, tri plasma membrane along with the glycocalyx and substituted by the mature form of the tubement. 
the parasitic form of uh, form penetrates through the epidermal basements uh, sorry basement membrane to cross over the dermis once the cystosomule invades the dermis it takes about 10 hours to reach the blood vessels where they get localized localized on penetration once they enter the mesenteric circulation through blood flow the parasitic form via pulmonary artery reaches the lungs the parasite further migrates to the hepatic portal when through blood vessels and finally penetrates into the into the liver accompanying complete maturation of the gonads and development of the gut the mature form of parasite pair up and perform mating and migrate through hepatic portal vents to get localized in the mesenteric vents the mature female parasite start laying egg and it take nearly 25 to 30 days to commerce egg laying from the time of infection with sarcaria thank you